Hey, this is Gabriel Iglesias, and I just saw this very funny animated uh, piece done by uh, Sketch and Sound. So please subscribe to his channel, and uh, yeah, keep it up, Sketch. Keep it up. A lot of things are changing, a lot. Got the relationship now, it's going good. I love my girlfriend, she's here in the house tonight too. It's awesome. We rarely fight, and I know why. It's because I do this for a living. Uh-huh, and she knows whatever we argue about will eventually end up right here. It slows her down, you ought to see her. You know what I think? Go ahead, say it, say it. Uh-huh, gotcha. I'm a bad bitch, you might kill me. Yeah, the only problem I have with my girl sometimes are her friends. I don't like her friends, because they're haters. They are. Look at that guy's clapping. Yeah, I know, man. It sucks. Every time I leave the house and I go out of town for the weekend, they show up and they start throwing little monkey wrenches in there, you know? So, he's not here? Where is he? How come you're not with him? What's the story? What's the deal? How long have you been together now? You're not engaged? You're not married? What's up? Is he gonna adopt Frankie? What's the word? What's going on? How come you don't have a ring? Norma has a ring and she's a puta. How come you don't have a ring? So, I'll get these messed up phone calls at like 2 in the morning when I'm on the road, right? Hello? <laughs> Baby? Yeah? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm just here at the house, watching cheaters. <laughs> Great. So my girl started tripping out and I started getting these weird phone calls. Finally, I got tired of it. I said, you know what? I don't need this, for, you know, I don't need it. From now on, when I take off on the road, no more phone calls. Look at that guy, yeah. Are you here by yourself? Whatever, dude. It is what it is. Here's the thing, I took my girl to the Apple store and I got her an iPhone. I got myself one and I said, from now on, we're texting each other. And believe it or not, she was cool with that because anytime she would send me a text, I would reply like that. I could be anywhere, freaking in the bathroom, freaking cling. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm blowing it up. I love you, Sam. And she'd reply, oh my God, me too, I love you. It sounds so stupid, but it was working out perfectly until one night I got drunk. Oh, you wanna hear this? You wanna hear this? So check this out. I'm leaving a comedy club in San Jose, California, and I'm walking back to my hotel room, which is one block away. As I'm walking, I pass in front of this bar on the corner called Cine Bar. It's got all kinds of cinema and movie memorabilia in there. It looks cool. I'm walking in front and there are people in that bar that just left my show. So I walk in front and I heard, Fluffy, hey, let me buy you a shot. I was like, well, you know, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> Can't have that, right? <laughs> so I walked in, I said, what's it, you know, I'm on my way back to my room. I just do a couple shots, whatever. So, you know, one shot and then somebody, me too. All right, me too. Come on, let's do it. Me three, me four. 15 shots of tequila later. <laughs> It occurs to me. I think I should go. I start walking towards the door. I took three steps. The cold air hit me. I got dizzy and I fell. Hard. I know I fell hard because when I hit the ground, I farted. <laughs> oh my God, I farted. My buddy Martin ran over and he helped me up off the ground. We stumble back to the hotel room. I sit down in the lobby and I'm just like, are you okay, Gabriel? I'm okay, man. Where's my phone? I gotta let my girl know I'm okay. You're holding it. Oh, thank you, Martin. I love you. I love you. You're a good friend, man. You're a good friend. He goes, what are you doing? I'm a text. Dude, just call her. No! If I call her, she's gonna know something's up. I'm gonna text her. Watch. Baby, I made it back to the hotel. I love you. Kissy face. Send. How did it go? <laughs> I farted. <laughs> I shouldn't tell her that, huh, Martin? Okay. It went good. Sen. Cling. What did you do after your show? Oh, here we go. 
A few moments later. My buddy Martin is like, Gable, man, Gable, don't tell her, don't tell her you're at a bar getting drunk, man. Don't tell her. Martin, I have to tell her the truth, bro. We're cool like that, man. I can talk to her. I could, I could tell her anything, man. She's not like your old lady, you know? <laughs> Tripping all the time. Hey, Martin, take the pictures of the cochina off the internet. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Forgive me, bro. Gable, lie. I can't lie, man. Lie, I can't lie. Are you that honest? No, I just won't remember the lie. <laughs> well, I get in trouble two times for the same stupid thing, you know what I'm saying, bro? So I sent the message. Baby, I made it. Oh, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> Baby, I went next door with Martin to Cine Bar. Had a nice time. Kissy face, kissy face. Kissy face. <laughs> Send. Cling! Lucky you. Wish I could have been there with you. Tell Martin I said hi. I love you. <gasps> oh my God. Martin, I just told my girlfriend I was at a bar with you and she didn't get mad. <laughs> what the hell is she doing? What the f Oh my god! You can tell you're not gonna be the right. No one around us made me feel the way she does.